A very good afternoon from a sunlit, sticky and humid renamed Queen's Home where the two teams that finished top of the pile will compete to be crowned the 2023 Allianz Premier 15's champions. One thing's for certain, we'll have a new name on the trophy. Will that be Gloucester Hartbury or Exeter Chiefs? This West Country derby has so many layers, including a Premier 15's champion from outside of London for the very first time. Big, big decision to go for the corner here. Line out, first one of the game, up towards the front pod. Gloucester Hartbury set, Kelsey Jones with her hands on the ball. Welsh hooker trying to orchestrate this driving ball. It's got a bit of momentum behind it. Still there for Gloucester Harbury. Chiefs doing everything they can to stop it. It's inching towards the line from the Cherry and White. Looking for the first point of the game. Heard coming in at the back, adding her muscle. Muir in there now. And there's a try awarded. Inside the opening five minutes, the power game from Gloucester Harbury. The forwards dragging it over inch by inch. They take the lead in the final. Kelsey Jones coming away with the ball. Five metre line out for Exeter Chiefs. Totosi to the middle pod. Johnson takes the ball. To the left hand side it goes. Great momentum behind this driving mall as Chiefs look to level up the final. Costa Hartbury throwing bodies in. Can they go again to the left hand side? Inches away. Chiefs cross in the final. Too much power. For Costa Hartbury, and it is Emily Totosi going over for her fourth try of the season. Started the line out, finished the line out. We're all square at Queen's Home. Getting in behind the Chiefs defence there, an advantage on the play as well. Looking, scanning his hunt. Goes down this blind side. Goes again the same way. Costa Hartbury for the corner, diving over. 14 players go over. It is Rachel Lund, the winning try score in the semi. Crosses for the Cherry and White. Queen's home erupts to Lund's try. A second for Gloucester Hartbury. Lewis again. Beckett round the back. Looking for Matthews on the wraparound. Good Chiefs defence down that blind side. Short ball looking for Muir. Power runner. Chiefs tries to spin. Again, extra up to the challenge. Hunt. Keeps it short, those power runners off first base ball. Hunt again in there quickly, demanding the ball. Beckett with her head down. She goes over. Sarah Beckett for the try. Right on the stroke of half time. The number eight back from a yellow card, crossing the line. Her tenth of the season is Gloucester Hartbury taking charge of the Premier 15's final. Monaghan. Two to bring the second row down. Quick and out for Hunt. Here is Muir bouncing, charging. Bustling away through. Hunt again. George goes for the kick across. Rugman chasing it. Rugman looks for the bounce. It's tapped over. Gloucester Hartbury get a hand in. Uh, just with the television match official at the moment for a high tackle. Just checking this. Well, this is Clakey George's kick. Um, I thought it was an earlier one down this near side as McDonald gets a hands to it. Uh, once another check of that, Dan Jones. McDonald and Rugman going in. McDonald gets a hand to it. What a turn of events here. Gloucester Hartbury walking back to the halfway line. What a moment in the game, confusion all over the face of Claudia McDonnell, but the deliberate tap out means a yellow card and seven points to Gloucester Heartbreak. What an incredible start to the second half. Beckett just making sure to not touch the ball, stay on side. Those supporting Sherry and White just trying to make a bit of noise in defence. Friday dumped on the floor. How many phases have we seen from Exeter Chiefs as Maisie Allen trying to bustle her way through? Robinson, short to Leach, out to McGovern! 
Chiefs strike back. Great play from Exeter. Going through their phases, staying patient. And the Premier 15's top point scorer on the end of a flowing move in the end to get them back in the game. Looking to try and roll to the right-hand side. That is just short. Mohan wants the ball. Looking, assessing. What have they got here? Bridger. Space out wide. Here's Lisa Newman for the try. Surely the winning score for Gloucester Hartbury. They've been so, so patient. Neumann goes over. Queen Toma rocks. The fifth score has to be the winning score. And a chance for the league leaders to just enjoy the final few minutes. They've overpowered the Chiefs, sucked them in and crossed with a, an absolute walkover in the end. Had to use all her arm strength there to just keep it up. So, so close to Exeter. Mo Hunt, the only defender down the blind side. Across to Hartbury, ready on the line, they go again. Exeter do have a consolation score. Ebony Jeffries going over. Still smiles on the Costa Hartbury bench, but Ebony Jeffries for what's been a tough afternoon's work for Exeter. They'll keep going in the closing stages. She crosses from close range. Let go, let go, Costa, let go. Good. Connie Powell coming through, stealing the ball. Mo Hunt having a look around. All they've got to do is shove the ball out. Bridger, big left hoof into touch. Gloucester Hartbury, the Alliance Premier 15 champions in 2023. A first league title for the Cherry and Whites, overcoming Exeter Chiefs in the West Country Derby. Five tries in the final. Huge smiles on those around Queen's home. What is essentially a home final for them. The celebrations begin. There we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Gloucester Harbury lift the Alliance Premier 15 trophy. They are champions. And look at those celebrations. As the Gloucester faithful adorn the stadium with cheers and hollers. I mean, it's a wonderful atmosphere to be a part of. I can't even imagine what those girls are feeling right now. Yeah, I mean, for all of them, it's been a really long journey. And moments like today, you'll cherish for the rest of your life. Te memories and emotions and everything that's built up towards today. They're memories that they won't ever forget about.